Now let's move on to the next group, Ek Shiksha. Ek Shiksha Question Bank and Assessment is the first project managed by Mr. Avinash Vate sir and mentored by Mr. Rajni Khan Jhangi sir. The Ek Shiksha Question Bank is a multilingual portal which is interactive enough on which contents are available which can be used for free. The portal is by the public and for the public. The main ideology at Ek Shiksha is one nation, one gyan. I have also worked under this team and now I'd like I would like to request the team to come up and present our presentation. Good morning everyone. We are all aware of the legend of Eklavya in Mahabharat. A boy born into a lower caste, he was denied the tutelage of Guru Dronacharya. Rather than give up, he built a clay idol of Dronacharya and worshipped it as his idol. Today, the principle of Eklavism is associated with self-learning and self-practice. The legend of Eklavya inspires each and every one of us sitting here that we can all turn our dreams into reality by putting in the right amount of effort and dedication. Eklavya's efforts to learn and practice are a classic example of self-practice with meditative mind, with a meditative mind, without the physical appearance of a guru, which is technologically possible today. We like to call this as distance learning. The aim behind the Ek Shiksha project is that of Eklavism, to enable a student to be their own teacher. A lot of effort has gone into making the site multilingual and free. Learning should not have any boundaries, which is why the Ek Shiksha website makes its contents available in almost all international as well as regional languages. The Ek Shiksha website has been functional for almost two and a half years now. So we worked on a number of things to add, uh, to add various features to the site. First of all, we had search functionality, then interactive exercises, like and comment facility, read and extract questions, database, API, contribution portal, and the implementation of Pi in HTML5. We start off the presentation with a small demo of the work that we've carried out so far. This shows the homepage in Hindi, the chapter sound in Hindi, actually. Now we are back onto the home page, we type Dhwani into the search box and it gives us the results wherein we enter the chapter for Dhwani. We can also view the page in Tamil as we can see. Now we enter the exercise zone which has been provided for every chapter. Five types of interactive exercises have been provided. At the end of each chapter as well as with all the activities, we have provided a like and comment facility as you can see. I type in helping lesson and it appears at the end of the chapter. On the home page we have a link to the contribution portal where users can submit their questions and get them reviewed by, uh, by other users. This is the contribution portal. Each and every one of these features was developed keeping in mind the Ek Shiksha motto of India, one nation, one gyan. Now I would like to hand over to my colleague. Just think about it for a minute, a site with a huge amount of information but no search functionality. How inconvenient would it be to find something without knowing its location? This is the reason why we have realized the importance for a search functionality. Our search functionality is a web-based tool that allows the users to locate information on the AK Shiksha website. It searches for and identifies the items in a database that corresponds to the keywords and characters that are provided by the user. Our search functionality allows the user to intuitively interact with the website. Let's head to the features. The multilingual search, an automatic spelling correction feature with a dictionary of its own. Intent-based categorization of information. Under this are search based on topic, search based on a specific level or standard, search based on different sections. We have two sections here, the textual section and the interactive section. The multilingual search. A user is not constrained to a particular language. He can enter queries in a wide variety of languages that is supported by the Ek Shiksha website. Here, the query made is Dhwani, which is a Hindi term. The results are the documents and the videos containing the term Dhwani. Automatic spelling correction. Misspelling words has become a common human trait and correcting the spellings has become a necessity. When it's automatic, it gets even better. So here, we have misspelled electricity as E-L-E-C-T-R-I-S-I-T-I. -E -I -I -I. It's connected to the correct form of electricity and the results are obtained. Now, a user may be interested in retrieving information based on a particular topic. The topic here is magnetic effect. We obtain a list of documents and videos containing the topic magnetic effect. Search texture content. 
As I mentioned before, there are two different sections: textual content and the interactive content. People will be interested only in the textual content. Here, the query made is contents of nutrition. The results are only the documents containing the term nutrition. Search visual content. Here, a user may be interested only in watching videos regarding certain information. The query made here is watch electric bulb. We are provided with the video results containing the term electric bulb. When a user makes no specification about the interest in the section, then he is provided with the results of both the sections. The query made here is crop production and management. The results are for crop production and management. Our search functionality is not merely a tool. It's a friend in disguise to guide you to what you're looking for. I would like to call upon my colleague to continue the presentation. Ek Siksha, bringing to life content prepared by the best minds with interactive exercises and experiments. As of now, the question was, what are these interactive exercises? And more importantly, where are these interactive exercises? So, we have developed a front end with HTML5, motivating the students with the concept of learn and play, motivating the students to follow the concept of learn and play. Now, what type of activities are displayed? Now, our front, our front end software is backed up by the database that contains large amount of questions for all these types of activities. The compatibility. Now, the word interaction in, so, in the browsers key raises questions in our mind. Will this, run, will this software run in the old browsers and the new browsers? The answer is yes. We have two types of software activities, activities that are supported by the Flash plugin and activities that are displayed on the HTML5 canvas. Also, our software can run in all types of devices, whether it be laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Now, here are some screenshots of our interactive exercises. Like these are of true-false questions. After attempting each activity, you will get an idea of your assessment, like how many questions you attempt how many questions you skipped and how many questions were correct and incorrect. These are multiple choice questions where either one option can be correct or multiple options can be correct. Fill in the blanks. Now, the motto of Ek Siksha is one nation, one gyan. How can one gyan be possible if we display these activities only in one language? So, our change of language is not only limited to content but also these activities. These activities can be displayed in English, Hindi, Malayalam, Telugu and other international languages. Now the future ideas for these activities. As of now, these activities contain questions only for 6 to 10 standards. More questions could be added for these standards plus activities could be made for 11th and 12th standards, competitive examinations and programming languages. Moreover, user profile and ranking system could be maintained encouraging more and more students to participate and do these activities. Now I would like to call my colleague to continue the presentation. And now, what, what would you do if you want to like or unlike anything on the internet? So to incorporate this facility in our Exiksha website, we have come up with the, these like and comment features. Now it's not just enough to like whatever there, what the activities present in our Exiksha website. Sometimes the users may want to express their views regarding activities present in our website. So, for that, the comment comes into play. Now, like, com like comment, and unlike, these, how these things are beneficial for our Eksiksha website. If the user want to express their views regarding the activities present in our website, he can give his views, and this feedback is very valuable to <laughs> review, the con review the activities present in our Eksiksha website. Now, I would like to call my colleague to explain further. Now you have seen our portal, it consists of various uh, departments, first in the left there was a search, uh, there, is, there was a search in the right, in the left there was a various subject and a user can uh, click on the subject and it will uh, show the various topics of the subject. By clicking on the topic, it will show the various uh, description about the topic and then uh, the various interactive exercises in the exercise zone below. We have four exercises zone below, the multiple choice, match the column, true, false, fill the blanks and crossword. So, uh, did you ever wonder from where these questions come from? Our site consists of uh, th thousands of questions. So these questions uh, are, dis uh, are contributed by the various software contributors. They contributed the questions in the various action skip files. These action skip files contain the various uh, questions in a proper format. So what we, we does it, we 
extract the question from these files and put it in the database. So uh, now let us think about how can we do this, can we just uh, extract and insert question one by one manually, I will remind you that we have thousands and ten thousands of questions to be exact in our portal, so it is a very ineffective uh, manner, that is why we have three objectives in our, in our hand, first one is to extract the various question from the file, second one is to validate each question and the third one is to insert into database, these three objectives which uh, we, we have to achieve in a very effective manner okay that is why we have developed a software extract and insert software what it does it it take the uh, action skip files as input and by using regular expression we uh, detect the various questions and options in it extract it then put it in the database and before putting into the database we apply the various validity checks validity checks are suppose questions can be duplicate options can be duplicate we are creating a clean database by rejecting all this questions that is why it is entered now I will show you the statistic of our questions you can see that the green bars are the total questions in the files and the red, red bars are the question extracted the types of questions are uh, described in the bottom so you can see that the green bars uh, from the green bars the red bars are quite below this is because some of the questions which are invalid illegal or duplicate question anything they are rejected they are not extracted that is why there is a gradual decrease. Now I will show the total questions to be exact we have read 11,431 questions and extracted 10,878 question because of the large magnitude of this question we are bound to create such a software which can effectively insert and extract and insert into database so that is all I would like to call upon my colleague for the next one. Invalid means suppose uh, uh, there is a action skip file which contains our questions. So suppose it contain same question again and again. So uh, while extracting, so it will compare with the each question it is extracted. If it is extracted uh, uh, earlier, then it will reject the next question if it is same. There are the various validity checks. Options are can be same. We are not uh, allowing that also. Various validity. Checks. Or yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. But there, if there is any space in between, then uh, string matching, you will be finding that it is not a duplicate question. I mean, a space or any other things. Okay. Uh, if the same question could be put in a little different way, it may not be in the same way. Yeah. Uh, you have to. No. The, the thing was, all these questions have been inserted by previous versions of the either the software quota or the summer internship program okay I had people who sanitized the questions okay but I can't guarantee okay since these are all questions which are submitted online because that in software quota ask them to submit questions on this topic you get so many marks and things like that right and these questions were submitted as dot as files okay which execute and come on the screen Okay, and the checking was manual. Okay, so added to that, now they have put this check. Okay, ideally there is a that they will explain. There is there is a concept where uh, somebody with knowledge of the topic, okay, will verify it. But I can't do it for ten thousand. Don't have the bandwidth. Okay, so there is a concept of when you submit a question, it somebody verifies whether it is correct before it enters into the database. But since this was a back end thing, this was the only check they did. So, yes, uh, various checks are there. In multiple choice question, if uh, the question submitted by the software contributors, if they do not submit any correct question, correct so the question will itself reject it. That is why various checks are there. Yeah, so. Uh, one of the observation in, in earlier slide when somebody was showing the questions, the uh, statistic, no question. Uh, there was a slide oh, on question. question. Uh, I am not sure whether oh, ha, oh, yeah. same same thing. So uh, one suggestion is that you could uh, you can easily put one uh, one more checkpoint for the uh, capitalization of things. For example, if the answers have three options and one is capital, I am more inclined to keep that as the option. So it is actually guiding me to this select is, that answer. This is a general, 
<laughs> yeah, but I'm saying uh, this might be the mistake of the person who has put up the question. Yeah, that person had much. used capitalization. Your software can just eliminate such things very easily. It's just uh, so keep everything lower case. Just to have parity uh, in the answers. If one answer is pro capital, I will be tend to pick up that answer by default. Anyway, dikhra hai, teen hai, usme se hai, capital hai. Mera ek natural tendency to pick up that. But it should not be a leading answer. Yeah. That is generally. It can be wrong. But why to why to give that option? I mean, it's generally wrong. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's a great feeling when you make a contribution and become a part of something significant. The idea of contribution portal is also to encourage people to contribute. Now I know the question the questions bubbling in your minds. What to contribute? Who will contribute? And why to contribute? Now let's come coming to the answer of these questions. What to contribute? On the question uh, on the contribution portal, a user can contribute questions of different types like uh, match the columns, true false, definitions for different topics and of for various standards these contributed questions are inserted in the ek shiksha question bank database this database is used to formulate the quizzes which a user can take up to enhance his skills now coming to who will contribute the contribution portal is uh, online and is free for all users so anybody can just log in and start contributing then why to contribute the need to the need for contribution comes to allow the society to create a vast question bank the more the size of the question bank will be it uh, the variety of quizzes can be formed for a user and uh, the more uh, easily he can test his skills now let me explain you the scope of portal yeah just very uh, okay so i think why you in your slide you started with why why to contribute Uh, no no i'm saying in your slide when you had these three top three question marks so and you started with a question to all of us that oh, how do you feel yeah. so it actually answers why to contribute in most of the cases yeah. what i was expecting in the third box there was how to contribute because you have told us what to contribute why to and why to contribute and who should contribute but then the next logical question is how should we contribute if That i am ready explain later ah okay so i think you could have just skip that part because you have already taken up all minor thing in the presentation flow let me explain you the scope of portal one nation one gyan is the prime ideology that ek shiksha team carries and promotes stepping forward in this direction ek shiksha team has introduced a contribution portal in addition to providing contents uh, to enhance the knowledge now with this new contribution portal uh, a user can test his knowledge as well this portal is online and free for all free for users from all domain you have a major role on this uh, contribution portal the this contribution pro portal provides two major roles for a user user as contributors and users as reviewer when a user play a role of a contributor he can contribute questions of different types of various complexities and of different standards these questions are taken up by the uh, for formulating the quizzes but there is another important role that is the role of a reviewer only those questions which have been reviewed and approved by the reviewer are, uh, will be uh, permitted to be displayed in the uh, quizzes so when you said what to contribute yeah. this slide is actually part of that so uh, you can you can have contributor as and also a reviewer which was not explained there it was only like a contribute in terms of questions and multiple choice questions so i am i am uh, making a uh, Uh, i am assuming that i am my contribution is only up to that level then again you go two slides further and you tell me no 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 you are to also contribute as a reviewer so that just keeps me toggling between uh, the tasks so you can just try to club the presentation in such a format that when you are on a track then it can be easy for the user to uh, assimilate what you are trying to say one second is also very minor point with a very generic point whenever you talk about uh, users or something use uh gen don't use gender specific things so he can do this so try to start saying he or she can do this it's a it's a interesting thing to have because you are you are catering to a wider audience right so you can just make a very generic statement every time you speak so make it a habit to say like that right okay. it will be useful in future now let's explore the flow diagram of the contribution portal as a user log uh, comes to the ek shiksha's main site and clicks on the link provided there for the contribution portal he comes uh, a windows display a uh, new pa page is displayed and the home page of our contribution is uh, contribution portal is displayed there from there user can easily easily navigate to frequently asked questions contact us page you can see the example of each question type how to contribute the qu question and can see the recent contributions which were made to the portal but as soon the user tries to contribute a question or try to see my contributions he is prompted to log in 
the if the user has not registered he can register and then log in but when the user logs in his type of role is checked the user's role is checked if the user is a contributor the user can now contribute to fill ups contribute multiple choice questions match the column type questions contribute definitions and contribute true false type questions the user can also see his uh, or her contributions made to the portal through my contributions and if the user is a reviewer the user can review the questions contributed by any contributor they all will be present and the user can review on the basis of correctness of the question and user is also facilitated facilitated to review to see the questions which he or she has reviewed earlier we used various technologies for our project in front end we used jsp html cs3 css and jquery for the back end we used java jdbc servlets and ajax mysql database was used netbeans ide was used and versioning tool was soft uh, svn let's have a look how our contribution portal looks this is the home page when a user comes to the portal here we have the recent contributions it shows the recent contributions made to the portal by all the users and there we have each type of question with a basic uh, line that what the user can contribute and an example for each type here this is a contribute page there we have the question types which the user can contribute if the user clicks on any of these contribution uh, question types since the user was not logged in the user is prompted to log in here we have the uh, link for sign up and sign up also when the user logs in this is the form for contributing a key, uh, definition type question we have the topic keyword and description if the user wants to see the ex uh, existing keywords he or she can go to the link and see the existing keywords and can insert his or her keyword this uh, definition accordingly this keyword definition are used to create two types of questions one is the crossword which you asked about and the second is the match the columns on one side you will have keywords on the other side you will have definitions and then you can mind this is a form to uh, contribute a true false type question we have a topic standard complexity question if the user wants to insert a image also we have the option here and the answer for the question the user clicks the save button and the question is saved this is a glimpse of the my contribution link here the user can review the contributions he or she has made to the true false question we are showing the only the true false questions but uh, by clicking on other links the user can see other types also once the user clicks the approve button or the reject buttons come that if the user has accidentally clicked the approve button he or she can reject the question uh, this is the glimpse for the page my reviews here we have shown the reviews of the question we can see on number 7 we have a question rejected because it was not correct point is not def defined like this and it's not in the topic e football now we have inserted the questions but how to use the these questions so we have this page for football topic under sports category in our ek shiksha's main site here we have all the question types Uh, reading all uh, all the stuff given there the user can click on for the exercise these are the match the columns question we have which we have contributed and these are the answer if user matches the wrong answer then the text color will change to red and otherwise it will be green if the answer is correct this is our crossword it is created from the uh, definitions uh, keywords and definitions we enter here we have the definitions for as a hint for the crossword and there we enter the keywords these are the true false type questions shown the user enters the question and click on the done button given below and these are the answers accordingly now i'd like to call upon my colleague to continue further the motto of our project ek shiksha is one nation one gyan focusing on our motto uh, these our very own people of iit bombay came up with a framework called pi that's physics interactive experiment framework Uh, the pi framework aims at uh, uh, making uh, it f facilitating easy and efficient learning for the children of different age groups further it comprises of different uh, interactive exercises so as to make it easy for the students to grasp complex concepts in various subjects also it makes use of action script that is a dot as files from designing the entire framework Uh, the limitation that it suffers from is the use of flash plugin for displaying the uh, uh, the exercises 
to overcome this limitation and uh, make it make these uh, pi framework activities uh, be supported on different uh, android browsers and the other uh, platforms we have uh, converted these um, activities in pi framework from dot as files to dot js ones uh, the new pi framework that we have designed uh, use it makes these activities compatible on the um, browser uh, different versions of browsers and converting these classes from uh, action script to javascript for this the technology that we have used includes html5 canvas and easel js html5 canvas that is the syntactic element that we have used for rendering of animations and graphics the easel js technology that is the uh, javascript library makes you makes it easy for the developer to render graphics and uh, animations over the canvas stage uh, a demo that describes how we have converted the pi framework activities into a new pi framework activities here we have a solar system depicting four planets we have mercury venus earth and mars we have checkbox attached with it and clicking on the checkbox the different planets would uh, get revolved in their orbits uh, we also have the reset and the uh, pause button on pa uh, on pausing on uh, the on clicking on the pause button the uh, the revolution of these uh, planets would stop and then further resetting it would uh, the entire video the entire image would uh, get reset then again clicking on mercury the uh, planets would uh, appear in the uh, respective orbits i thought in the original solar system demo they were there it planets. was true to real life yes sir okay yours is not yes sir why have not used the same computations as before so we use four planets here like which so was to uh, four planets your omega is the same the original thing that is displayed omega is not the same same <laughs> All planets don't rotate at the same speed around the sun. Yes. Sir. They rotate at different the speeds. Speeds. Yes, sir. Okay. Depending on radius. Depending on the. Huh? What? <laughs> How yes. much is absent? Yes, sir. So it will. Be why yes, you did not include the sun and why the rotations were not different? So the rotation speeds could be manipulated. We have the uh, rotate uh, pi. Why element. do you not use the original one? This is a solar system displayed, right? I think. Ah uh, yes. Sir. Demo, so the diff demo also has to be true. Awesome. Demo should not be thrown away. Okay. Yes. Uh, the further challenges that we faced during the tenure of the internship included uh, conversion of the use of inheritance in JavaScript. That was a big, big challenge that we faced. However, we could overcome that challenge and successfully translate different uh, graphic objects and the uh, UI component files uh, into uh, the .js ones. Uh, the future scope of our project includes uh, the use of ui components like slider and observation table also programmatically converting the experiment.as files to the experiment.js to facilitate it easy for the users to make use of the graphic and the ui components uh, cre creation of pi image class so as to render images on the canvas and the easel js stage using preload js now I'll call upon my colleague to continue with the presentation The Ek Shiksha website is dedicated to making resources available to all students to help them achieve their true potential. Now, before we move on, I'd finally I'd finally like to address the challenges that we as a team faced. The Ek Shiksha team was a very large one. So it was a challenge for us in the beginning to cooperate and manage the team, but it all worked out fine and it was as challenging as it was fun. Now, learnings Now each of us learned a few valuable lessons which we will carry with us but what we as a team learned is outlined here first of all we learned the importance of teamwork we learned how to listen to everybody and then finally decide on one idea to give importance to everyone and to respect them we learned how to write clean code with documentation which is written for the customer and not for us and we also learned the importance of distance learning which is the whole aim of ek shiksha the ek shiksha project offers a lot of scope These out these points outline our vision for the project. First of all, spelling correction for search functionality in languages other than English. Currently, spelling correction is supported only in English. We can also provide spelling correction in regional as well as international languages. More question types like integer and essay type can be added. Currently, exercise zone supports only five interactive type of questions. Support for more can be provided. Expansion of the new Pi framework. then an faq portal implementation we have already uh, done the documentation for the faqs but the portal implementation is yet to be done 
which can be carried uh, which can be carried out and finally implementation of a robust re reviewer policy which is still under construction we would like to thank our guide professor db fatak our project manager mr avinash avate and our mentors mr rajnikanth and mr mayank paliwal before we wrap up we'd also like to give a team introduction first up we have naman taneja who worked on the database api along with sonia matthews then read and extract questions had dibalia pande and jyotsna prasad contribution portal was ayushi gaur mitika sharma and vishaka gupta the front end for question display had banani medhi mansi avasthi the implementation of pi in html canvas 5 was Gaurav Arora and Ayushi Agarwal. Search functionality was run by Manakshi Radha Krishnan and myself, Ashna. The like and comment plugin was Shrinivas. The FAQ documentation and interface was Ashwin Kumar. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, good job. Uh, well done and. range of things so yeah large team and uh, quite uh, nicely that large things have come out of that large team so that is good uh, i have few comments um, so if you can just pull up the presentation which had the like thing so uh, it's a very uh, interesting topic to have in ek uh, portals like ek shiksha especially when education is uh, thought of a very non glossy non charming thing so if you have if you see that uh, facebook like button on that then people definitely would like to do something so i like the idea of uh, introducing that and the way the only thing is that when we when we uh, imp uh, like adapt or uh, align ourselves to something which is already present then we also stand a chance of being compared with that present thing right so just look at the screen of uh, what you have no the screen where showed the like button somewhere earlier in the presentation yeah so my uh, being a user experience person my point of uh, um, what i would like to share with you is that it also has to have ha uh, huh, yeah somewhere here it was there okay uh, <coughs> that user is concerned about uh, how to use these tools uh, which are provided if he likes it or she likes it and they click on some button and they get a feedback on about it immediately but at the same time if it is quite different than the standard or may, it may not be standard but most popular ways of uh, using this uh, activities then the users will get confused in terms of so uh, i saw that when you when you press like um uh, in facebook especially it shows that you and so many else have liked it right that is the message you get it here you don't get that message so um, you just that button changes to dislike i think right and that's what uh, shown here and both the buttons have the same color and only the words are changed right i uh, so the, the user will get confused about uh, it, it has the thumb up and thumb down right but then i don't know whether what is the status of my uh, input what have i done uh, currently my page looks with some text on it and a dislike button at the bottom so what have i done now to the whole thing have i liked it or should i dislike it now or where is that getting registered and telling me that you have liked this page is it telling me somewhere that you have liked this page or you have liked this question or you have liked this answer whatever the content it will be displayed but it should be allowed to be not displayed if i don't like it but you know, first information should be given to me that you have liked it right and then if i don't want it to be seen all the time that i know that i have liked it then i can switch it off because actually it should be other way around if i don't get so afterwards i again visit this i will only see that button called dislike there so it prompts me to to click that button because i am not aware whether i what is the action happened between me and the uh, system so so this feedback is very important so for example at places there are like if you click like button it just grays down it stays there but then there is another like uh, dislike button also appearing nearby 
So now if you want to change, you can do that. But it's not toggle that okay. Once you click like it, it immediately converts to dislike. That you want to change the thing. So that type of uh, uh, interactivity can be handled very well with colors or opacity options of buttons. Similar thing goes with that question when you say uh, approved or something, and then it, it was going to reject. So or uh, uh, what I wanted to uh, bring out probably I'm not clear uh, in expressing that is. Uh, because i am not uh, uh, well versed with the uh, way logic has been built up in in getting this thing but i think this can be much simpler if uh, appropriate colors are used for such actions so uh, that color coding will help user in in just getting the feel just by looking at it actually i think a very valid comment i, mean, I think the same same interface is there in any t10kt they also said that by just looking at the screen all the approved thing should be green all the rejected thing should be red okay the button can remain it not there nothing wrong with it okay but i have to look at which one is approved and which i have to read have to correct make effort when you said okay this looks rejected here but we didn't know where is the but the length of the word for approve and reject is almost the same except for it starts with r and this starts with a but it takes too much of our Uh, time and creates a cognitive load in the minds of user for looking at each and every word here color key can just immediately tell me what happened like your graphs were so explanatory right yeah, this is not for this project it's just to take you forward in your future life okay congratulations <laughs>